first thing you need to know is how to scan your line art correctly. Here I'm using image capture which comes with Max, although all of the settings we'll be looking at should correlate to any scanning program. The first thing I do is select the area I will be scanning. I always leave a little gap on the outside because I can always crop later in Photoshop. Next, I make sure that I will be scanning in color, not black and white, despite my image being monochromatic. This is to ensure the scanner picks up all of the gray in the image, resulting in a higher quality scan. Now we can set the resolution. This is crucial because if you set it at a low DPI, it will result in a pixelated image. A good rule of thumb is the smaller the image you are scanning, the higher resolution you should use. Right now my drawing is about 8.5 by 11 inches, so I'm using 300 dpi, which is pretty standard. Make sure you didn't accidentally check any other boxes and then you can scan your drawing. Once you're done, you can pull up your image in Photoshop. The first thing we want to do is change the levels. This will get rid of that grayish white and make your darks even darker. You can hit Ctrl L or go to Image Adjustments and Levels. Then what we're going to do is move these knobs further from the edge until you like the way it looks. You should be careful not to overdo this or you may lose the quality of your line. Once you're happy with it, hit OK. Now you can stop or if you're a bit more nitpicky like me, you can continue. Here I'm cleaning up my line art even more by getting rid of the sketchy light gray lines. Hit select, color range, and then take the eyedropper tool and select all the white and light gray areas. Make sure you have a little bit of fuzziness selected. Once the image is cleared up on the color selection screen, you can hit OK. Now all of your white and light gray is selected. Lastly, I just soften the edges of my selection by going to select, modify, feather, and then using a one pixel radius. Then you can hit delete and it will be all cleaned up. Then it's all up to you. I like to color my line art, so going to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and hitting the colorize checkbox will tint your line art whatever hue you want. I also always set up my layer mode to multiply to make sure any white doesn't show up around the edges of my line art. But that's all. Good luck! Happy drawing!